Hey guys, um, here's my first video review. I'm going to do it on some of the document apps. I'm just going to use the stylus to make it easier to see everything. Start off with the PDF reader, um, seeing it's already preloaded on the phone. Um, I'll load up one of the app, one of the uh, documents I've got, which is the N900 user manual. Uh, here you have, you can see at the beginning, you've got like back to first page, previous page, page number that you're on. So you can select what you want to go to, and then just click go. Uh, you've got next page on there um, and to the end of the document uh, zoom out it does go from a minimum of 50% um, all the way up to 400 and it does zoom in quite quickly just depending on what page you're on though I've seen a couple of pages it does take a little while sometimes um, and then you've got four. Um, and what you can do is to you can browse around on here um, zooming in and out you can actually do with the keys at the top as well um, just tap at the bottom there like you would in the web browser and you can go to the next page and move across uh, if I come out of that next thing I'm going to go over is the documents to go I'll start off with the sheet to go which is the Excel viewer um, on here it does support 2007 and 2003 file formats um, it is a very basic viewer um, you can navigate quite easily around the uh, around the files. Um, it did actually have a little graph on here on the original version which obviously hasn't come through so I wouldn't recommend it for anything more than just very basic uh, tables with too much very basic date, um, data in there. If you double tap on the cell like I just did you can see it comes up with a black box around it. At the top here you can see what data is in the box and what cell number it is and if you go through here you can actually see it um, in more detail um, obviously the whole cell if there's quite a lot in there if you've got a lot of formulas and things like that and finally if you go into here you can actually go onto the properties see uh, the details about the document um, you can also go to um, about we'll just give you some information about the documents to go viewer so I've got version 1.0000 um, and brackets 153 installed currently uh, on to the next one which will be slideshow to go here again it is a very basic application um, again it supports 2007 file formats um, if I just load one up um, this particular one did actually have animations on it um, as you can see it hasn't actually gone through with the animations because I had a bits flying in and out um, it does support multiple pages so obviously you've got an image there you can put it in full screen and then you can browse through using here I did actually have a video clip on here which it doesn't look like it's going to show um, so again very very basic view I wouldn't recommend it for many things at all um, I don't really see a point in actually having this um, slideshow because it doesn't really do anything you're better off converting your files to PDF on your desktop and viewing it through the PDF viewer and finally and here we've got the word to go um, same thing as the other one supports both file formats um, text and things like that loads up quite well what you will notice at the top here you've got these little icons what it is is it any text boxes that you might have are brought up separately so if I go into a couple you can browse the images separately in there and you do get a little scroll bar here which you can go up and down um, and close them when you want to and um, you can quickly come out of these I think it's good that you can have these little things separately so you can have a few windows but I prefer it if it was in the main document itself um, at the top um, you do have a few other options like word count so you can see how many words you've got in the document like you would um, on your PC um, the rest of it is just the box standard stuff Okay, finally I'll go into the notes application which is uh, this part is built in the documents to go that I went through earlier are um, downloadable separate I think you get a little icon on the on the phone by default but it's not actually da um, installed on to the phone um, you'll need to do that separate yourself uh, within this part um, you, as you can see the notes application does actually support uh, several different uh, formatted text so I've just got uh, this is a document in notes um, underlined 
italics um, it goes up to 32 size font um, and minimum is size 8 um, you can have different fonts I've got sh um, serif uh, monospace uh, you do have a few other options in there as well uh, you can do bullet points uh, change the color through here um, bullet points are there to get to the strike through the subscript and superscript you need to go into here font and then other um, and the options are there um, finally you've also got um, alignment which you can go through to settings uh, you can put things centered um, on there and it'll put it in the center of the page and finally what you can do is remove all formatting and it's gone back to basic um, that's pretty much everything uh, I can show you on here if there's anything else you want me to go over or if I've skipped over something or I've missed something just let me know thank you bye